Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, I thought that I would talk to y'all today about some of the um, set stuff that I'm using for the new set and also um, just a couple of purchases that I've gotten. The first one I have to tell y'all about, I'm so excited. It is, I mentioned it in another video, and it is a Mackenzie Child's piece, and it is so nice. It is a three quart, so it's kind of big, so I'm gonna have to sit back a little bit so you can see it. But it's black and white and cream, I mean black and cream and uh, antique brass oh, yeah. tones. And I love that there's a birdie on top, because y'all know how I love birdies. Yeah. And this thing is so weighted. Um, one thing I don't know, I don't see a hole. I don't think this is a um, tea kettle that is whistling. But, um, so in other words, any escaped steam would come out here. But I love it. I think this is a beautiful piece, and that's why I was willing to pay more for it. Um, I do want to eventually get a couple, not a whole set or anything, but a couple of more Mackenzie Child pieces. I've always wanted their garden game. And put a little fencing around the front area in case the baby when we had our house fire Brie got out and the whole all our friends from the church from the neighborhood everybody's like family everybody's like Beth what do you want us to do I'm like get in your golf carts in your cars and find Brie I don't care about the house my son is safe me and my husband weren't even here we found velvet she was hiding under the bed but Brie is gone when they broke down the door for the fire which they have to do and that is they say the animal, but they don't agree to take care of the animals. The animal gets out if it didn't die. The problem is, Bree is not well trained to stay around the home. So she went on an adventure, and two friends, Josh, my darling Josh, who's like a second son to me, and my best friend, LaDonna. I always call her LD on here, and um, I don't want to overcall her out because I don't think she likes that. But anyway, uh, she and he, and his now wife, Christiana, found Brie. She was having a blast. She was going, she had gone down a golf cart and gotten in a neighborhood and I think they said she was playing with the ball and when they said come here she was like scanting and thinking it was fun while I was having a heart attack and when I finally came back by the house to check um, one of my dear dear friends Rose was standing there holding Brie and I thought I was going to explode. I was so thankful that she was okay. I came down the driveway and held her and held her and all of a sudden it hit me all the people who had helped me and I needed to provide pizza so I said could you hold Brie a minute and I decided to order pizza for everyone but anyway um, why am I talking about this? Oh because I'm, I would like to have a gated front and my husband's like no babe we don't have that kind of property and I'm like we can make a little cottage fence around the azaleas it'll still look pretty we can make it look pretty and have a little gate so if someone should ever have to break in there's a little fenced in area around the door this time but then of course that gate would be open yeah. he's got a point anyway i love the gate it's cute go to mckenzie child's and check out the garden gate and you'll see what i mean it's adorable you would put like a, a little green post on either side and then maybe a little black wrought iron gating around. Anyway. Okay, so anyway, I think this is adorable. I love it. It also will serve a purpose in that you could do instant coffee, tea, or you could take this out completely. This is really heavy, y'all. And put fresh flowers like bright yellow, uh, like in the fall. I would put, um, Brie, I don't see it, babe. I would put, um, bright yellow um, sunflowers and maybe a few orange mums and make a fall arrangement or you could put a Christmas arrangement come out of this you could do, you could do Easter color pastel colors you could do um, just a spring mix coming out of this would be so pretty this would be a great centerpiece it would be a great um, functional piece and so I thought you know it's it is expensive but I like the designer and I like most of her pieces like, I could probably own them all. But anyway, so that's one piece that I recently purchased I want to share with y'all. And then the other is for the um, filming room. And it is this beautiful Mackenzie Childs pillow. And look how on one side is that same check pattern, which is her signature pattern. And the other side, it's stripes. Just pretend, uh, depending on your mood. I have no idea why this has got so much paint fall out. I guess because this is really hand done, y'all. Mm -hmm. Mackenzie Child. It's got its little tag on it. 
Um, I wanted an 18 inch. This is perfect. Gosh, what a bunch of junk. <laughs> anyway, this is what it looks. Whoa, what, ew, ew. This is what it looks like. It's got ruffles and it's going to be going on a beautiful cream colored um, antique settee that's going to be in the backdrop. And this is kind of just something to modernize it and give it um, some style. It already has style, but this is to kind of contrast. So you can see these two together. This is her, one of her signature patterns is the McKinsey Child Check. Okay, and then another thing that I brought home, but this is not new at all, but I, it probably will be part of my backdrop. Y'all may remember this from before, is this beautiful peony um, flower arrangement. Now, this is faux water. This is a gel faux water. And um, normally these are really, really expensive, especially this realistic and this is a pretty high quality um, silk arrangement. I gotta get the dust off. But here's the thing. I don't know how I lucked out, but I found this on, um, who is it from? The French, the French B is who makes it. Um, but I think I got it from, um, y'all it's one of three sites, either Grandin Road, Horchow, or, and I think Horchow is pronounced Hochow, the R is silent, um, or, um, Front Gate. I don't remember which one, but it's in their florals, their silk florals. Normally, they're five to $600 because they're very, uh, for one thing, this is smaller. Usually, they're double this size, but you pay because it looks, you know, real in here. And, um, you know, the water looks real, and it's like a forever arrangement. And peonies is certainly very delicate and very, you know, perfect for a backdrop. So, I used to have it, like, right there. And now it will probably be in my next one. So, there's that. And then also, in one of my last videos, I talked to you guys about... Um, this is just like a so... I don't know why I'm adding this at the end. Bree is saying hi and she wants to play ball. I talked to you about my foundation and I absolutely love, y'all know that I love the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet in color number 22 beige rose. And I feel like it is lightweight. It is, uh, it gives a velvet finish. It is not what I have on right now. Um, I, I think I chose this other one this morning. And this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Radiance Reveal. Um, foundation in color vanilla and these are so similar to me except this is heavier and I even had been told that bourgeois was made by the same people who make the Chanel I don't know how that could be because I think Chanel is Chanel but anyway you know a lot of those brands own other brands so I wouldn't doubt it but the bourgeois um, foundation and it's the one that says radiance reveal healthy mix and um, Healthy Glow and Hydrated Luminous Skin Fruit Therapy. Uh, and again, it's color number 52, which is vanilla or vanille in French. And I really do like this as a backup. It is a little heavier. And what does that mean? It settles in the fine lines a little thicker and therefore defines them. So I'm not as crazy about this as this. There is nothing that matches this. This is the best of all the rest. Yes, yes, yes. My favorite. But I mentioned this to you guys, and I, I said I'll show it to you in another video. So this is the other. I think this is not a dupe because it's not as sheer. But sometimes people need something a little more heavy anyway. So if you need a little bit more coverage, I do have this on right now. How's it covering up my age spots? Well, you can see them. There's one there. But they're very covered. There's My big one's right there, and you can barely see it. Again, over here, and also, this is all day of wearing this. This is after a whole day, all day long, of wearing this. So, I don't know, y'all. I think this is a pretty good coverage. This is more medium to heavy. This is more medium to light. And then, this is the light coverage, the Vitalumare Aqua. So, that's my favorite foundations. Y'all know that I'm also a big fan of the IT cosmetics foundation that is the CC cream. It's color correcting, it's full coverage, it's anti-aging, and it has a hydrating serum, and it's SPF 50. So this is a really 
really mm -hmm. good foundation as well. It's really interesting because it looks like it's a little squirt tube, but when you take this off, it is a pump, which everybody likes. This is a little heavier to me uh, foundation. I'll use this in my next tutorial because I'm going to do a tutorial. I'll use this of the Japanese palette because I'm thinking about you guys making this the fall giveaway. I can't help it. It's just like the perfect fall palette. I've showed it to y'all over and over. Look at it. It's got a great highlight, great transition. It's got some green, plums, blues, rusts, and a really good dark color right there. And what's so great about it is it's fantastic for under eye lining, over the eye lining, and eyebrow lining. So this is like one of the best ever palettes, y'all. And I don't know why I didn't go back to it, but now that I found it again, I'm using it all the time. So I'm thinking, well, Beth, if you love it that much, and it is, after all, fall colors. Hello, could you get more fall colors than a vanilla rust, dark rust, plum. The dark rust is more like it's got a little bit of a, a rosy to it, rose to it. Um, and then this incredible transition color. It's a true caramel. This kind of uh, olive or sage green. And this is a good caramely, dark caramel brown. And then this is a really dark brown. It's almost black, but it's dark brown. And that's great because the good thing about black is that you can use it in the outer corner to really make an evening look. But the good thing about dark brown is you can use it on your brow if you have dark brows instead of light brows. If you have light brows, you really could use this or this. Either one of these colors right there. There or there. There or there. Love this palette. However, I had looked at some other palettes. What did I look at for fall? What did I look at? I know I bought something. Do y'all remember what I bought for fall? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, probably this. But I will do a tutorial with that and this or this. Maybe we'll do both sides of the face and we'll talk about how, what's the differences. Okay. <laughs> Love y'all.